my name is Stuart Childs, I'm a dairy specialist in Moor Park. Um, we're here on the farm of Pat and Sean Kelly in Kilroan, Nina, County Tipperary, Arabon Dairy Suppliers. So today I'm going to speak just very briefly in terms of heat behaviour and time of AI. And this is very important in relation to sex semen in particular. And Sean and Pat are using sex semen with the last number of years and getting on quite successfully with it because they are following the protocols that they should in terms of the timing of the AI. So this diagram here is showing you that the start of heat is occurring here. In conventional semen, which is our normal situation, we have a long viability phase of the semen in the tract, so that when the ovulation occurs anywhere between 25 and 32 hours, we have viable semen interacting with that uh, freshly ovulated egg, and the egg is fertile for an eight to 10 hour period after that, so conception can occur. However, if we were to apply the same process for sex semen, we will actually be too early in terms of the time of the insertion of the semen into the tract uh, because the semen viability is shorter with sex semen. So we have to delay the service time to this period here. So AI is taking place at 14 to 20 hours after heat onset because our, our semen is viable for less than 24 hours and we need it to interact with this ovulation at the time when it occurs here, which is still happening at the 25 to 32 hour period. So if we follow this process, and very, very uh, roughly, we're talking about anything that comes in heat in the evening time is suitable to be served in the morning time, or if they're coming in heat in the morning time, they would be suitable for late evening service for sixth. If they don't, uh, if you don't have the option of AIing in the evening time, uh, and the cow is fresh in the morning, they should be served with conventional semen.